right, we're gonna get started. Hi guys, Hi. happy early Halloween. Welcome back to Koozie Talk, the hottest new podcast, Halloween edition. Yeah, Yay. and I got my girl, Doug Muffin, with me. Hi. This is my girl for a few years. She's one of my favorite music artists. I love her music. We're actually playing her in the background. She's a Libra. Yep. She's from LA, okay. but raised in Texas. Don't get it twisted, okay? okay? And she has a single coming out on Halloween mm -hmm. Tuesday called Lick It Up. Lick It Up. Uh, I love that, yes. yes. So I'm actually gonna take a drink of my mojito. She's keeping it light. Sip. Yeah, She's I keeping have a it light tonight. Mm -hmm. No worries. No peer pressure over here. No, I might have a sip in a second. I'm gonna just wait. Yeah, have some wine. Yeah, I have a sip. Yeah. Here Cheers. Go. Cheers. We share blunts, we share drinks. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Andy! Hearts. Hi, Andy. So I just want to say hi to the Twitch community. Hello, hello. We are broadcasting live right now. And tomorrow we're going to be on YouTube. So hi, YouTube community. Let me just say hi hello. now. I'm going to see y'all tomorrow. Or you're going to see me tomorrow. Jessica Vanessa. Hi, babe. Welcome to the Halloween edition. We're going to get started. This is going to be so fun because all the topics we're talking about are spooky, ha spooky Halloween stories, you know, different cool Halloween questions. We're going to play fun games. It might get a little steamy depending on her mood. Oh, yeah. We're going to see if she picks Halo or Horns. And then we have the Scary Wheel of Fame. Ooh, it's going to be so much fun. So let's get started, guys. Yes. Thank Ooh. you for having me. I'm, I'm so, so happy you did this because, like, yes. She loves Halloween as much as I do, uh -huh. and I couldn't have thought of a better person to do it with than with her because, yeah. you know. We're spooky queens. Spooky queens. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to get started. We're going to start a little slow. I always like to start like little basic questions, and then we turn up the volume as we go, mm -hmm. or turn up the heat. Okay, so at what age did you stop trick-or-treating? Treat, uh, stop trick-or-treating. <laughs> What stop? Okay, what's so funny is I couldn't trick or treat. My Why? family did not allow me. Oh, so were they not into Halloween? They're not into Halloween. They were very Christian, you know, very oh, Christian. Jesus. Okay. Yeah, so we could go to harvest festivals, but I couldn't trick or treat. So at 18, I went, my friends took me trick or treating for the first time in my life. Yeah. I dressed as Johnny Depp from Pirates of the Caribbean. How cute is that? Yeah, it was a while ago. Um, but then we went to a house and this lady got very upset because trick or treating is for kids. Oh my and god. And she yelled at us and I ran away like, ah! It is not that serious. <laughs> I would have still gave y'all some candy. I said, I've just never done it before. She was like, these are for the kids, okay? Yeah. It's not for you. <laughs> Get lost. Jess, please. thank you for the biddies. Yes. Yay! Yes. Okay. Did you, okay, so you didn't, you weren't able to church. No. So I can ask you this question. Yeah. So this is a fun Halloween fact, guys. Candy corn was first manufactured in the 19, no, not 1980s, 1880s, but repeatedly ranks as America's least favorite candy. Really? Yes. Oh. Are you a fan of candy corn? I love candy corn. Oh my God. I think I'm in that percentage. I hate you candy hate corn. It. I hate candy corn. Oh, I can't do it. I, I just, love. I don't know. It's a weird taste. It tastes like wax, but it's oh. like... You like That's wax? Fun. <laughs> No, I eat it layer by layer. I'm like, I'm gonna eat the little yeah. white part first and a little orange. Oh, so you you go by oh, the layers. I go by you, layers. You just don't like down. When it. I was a kid, I would take the yellow part and put it on my teeth. Oh wow! Yeah. And why did you do that? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, in the chat, tell us, did you guys like candy corn growing up? Yeah. I, I don't like candy corn. I still don't. And they say that your taste buds change every ten years, and yep. mine has not adapted to candy corn. Still. Yeah. All right. If you had to live in a Holly, Halloween movie, which one would you choose and why? Oh, oh my gosh. That's a good one. I don't know. I I want to say The Shining, but that sounds horrible. Like, that would be so terrifying, but I just love how Stanley Kubrick set it up. It's yeah. just like... No, The Shining is definitely... Very fine. aesthetic, but I know I would go insane, but I guess I would go insane anywhere. Oh, man. Because it's Halloween. So yours know. would be The Shining. Yeah, or I guess like um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes, I was gonna say that. I was yeah. gonna say that. I would want to be like a cartoon. Or like the suburbs of Edward Scissorhands. That's cool. That's a fun one. Or that's Hocus awesome. Pocus for me. Yeah. I try to be one of the, the witches. Oh my god. Yes, like, can I be down with y'all? Can I be in your coven? Yeah. I love Hocus Pocus. It's a good one. It really is. Okay. What do you think is the easiest last minute Halloween costume to to make? Oh my gosh, I guess like an angel, something like that. Me, a devil. Horns. The um, devil's pretty easy. School girl, school girl, I suppose. I don't know, Matrix. Oh, Matrix like is black easy. leather. That's 
Sleep a little sleep or back cat. there. Cat. Yeah. Any, any type of animal for you. Yeah, I did a lamb last year. Oh, that's cute. That was a lamb. That's cute. And like a gothic lamb. That was fun. And last minute. But I had the ears already. So it's cute. Would you say, a, like yours, a clown? A clown is, my, is one of my favorites, yes. I love this hat, by the way. Thank you, I just got it. Isn't her today. costume cute, guys? She's a cute clown. She's a hot yes. clown. Hot clown. Goth yes. clown. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever done a couple's costume or a group costume? Yes! Oh my god, and I'm doing a couple's costume this year. I'm trying to think if I've done a couple's costume before, though. I've done a group. I did Hocus Pocus last year. How Santa fun is that? That was Mary. Mary! Yes. Oh my so god! I had a job the whole time. And my roommate was there. You didn't Sarah. carry around a vacuum, did you? No, <laughs> we did take a picture with our vacuum. Oh, okay, that's cute. That's super cute. I it think was really she fun. had the vacuum, Sarah had the mop, mom, and then of course a, Winifred had the broom. Yeah. She the queen bee, honey. Definitely. Yes. Yeah, Winifred's incredible. So we did that last year. I'm trying to think what other group costume I've done. No, that might have been it. And then this year I'm doing... Wait, I shouldn't say it yet. Or should I? It's up to you. It's up to you if you want to spill beans. It's not that serious. I'm doing Adam's Family. It's going to be really oh, fun. Oh my god, Wednesday. I'm going to be Morticia. Morticia? My best friend's going to be Gomez. Yes. My best friend's going to be Wednesday. Wednesday. And then my dog's going to be Pugsley because he's a That's so cute. He already got his little shirt. Who's your favorite character from the Adams Family? Um, I love Morticia and I love Debbie from Adams Family Value. Oh, Debbie's She's hilarious. The big, big titty girl. Yeah. And then I love Wednesday, obviously. We all love Wednesday. We all love Wednesday. I think we. You know I, what? My favorite is Thing. Thing <laughs> is great. Yeah, yeah, I like the hand. The hand be. Listen, the hand is a ride or die, okay? Thing will get you where you need to go. He took care of He her. drives. Yep. Listen. He a real one. And he doesn't complain. He doesn't he complain. He does it. And then sometimes <laughs> has a little attitude, but that's cute. Who's your least favorite on the Adams Family? What? None. Um, Lurch is just there. Lurch is just there, but he's still cute. He's got a little, you know, scary goth man vibe. Yes. I love Fester. Um, it's like they're all lovable in their own way, right? Yeah, everybody. The grandma's hilarious. Sucks. Oh, maybe the little blonde girl from. Oh, she yeah. was annoying from the first movie. The, are they made from again? Real Girl Scouts? I don't remember her Does name. Does anybody remember the name of the blonde girl in the Adams Family? The first one? The Girl Scouts. Is that the first one or the second one? I feel like it's values, but I could be wrong because I think she was older. So yeah. they did the Thanksgiving play. I don't remember which one it was, but yeah, she was so annoying. I yeah. forgot her. Amanda. Wasn't her name was Amanda? Amanda? Um, I think yeah. it was Amanda. I think that was her. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I'll Chad. go watch it tomorrow. Cute. Yes, I love. Ooh, I like this question. Would you rather be a hero or the villain? Mm. You know what? I think that you're actually going to be surprised. I would prefer to be the hero. Really? Like I want to. I like playing villains. Yeah. But in real life, I'm definitely not. I don't like. I'm a leader. No, uh, no, no. Of course. Of course. Okay, no, in real life, definitely we're heroes. But in a movie, like a villain. Seems oh, I'll fun. be a villain. Actually, the show I was on, I kind of played a villain. Ooh. And it was fun to play. Amazing. Because I'm so not that character. You're she so was, sweet, but you can get really intense. If I need to get spicy, honey, I will. That's a yeah. Jamaican Mexican, honey. Yes. The spice it's incredible. Out. Amanda Buckman. That was Buckman. her name. Or ba uh, Buckman, yeah. That little hoe. <laughs> yeah, she was something else. Seems funny. Would oh you, my god, yes. Okay, this is a good one. Would you rather walk through a haunted house or yes. act in a haunted house? Oh, act. Same. Yes. Same. Oh my Same. god. You just told me that you acted in haunted house. I houses. did. I did. I used to be a scare actress um, at Universal Studios for <sighs> five years. Um, I was in The Exorcist, La Llorona, Walking Dead. I've done it all, honey. It's incredible. And I was even a vampire one year. That was fun. Like but it's, you know what? It's physically demanding, though. It's hard. I thought about that. And people that. hit you. Yeah, So you have to kind of be a scare, and you got to be out of there. And then people try to be dickhead. Oh, excuse my language. No, you girl. Know, you can cuss on here. And they try to, like, <laughs> like say mean things. So yeah. I heard them when I was in line. I was like, yo, y'all chill. Mm -hmm. Like, they're just doing their job. We went yesterday to Universal. That's why we started talking oh, you went about yesterday. this. Yeah. You went yesterday. Yeah. yesterday, guys. It was so fun. Also, too, I hate when they try to scare you. You, because why? Like, okay, so do you want my job? What's right, going on like, now? do you want to check? You're not getting one. But I feel like the people that do that, they do that because they're scared. Oh, yeah. So it's like a defense and they have to release mechanism. Them, release it. Yeah. I fell over yesterday. Oh, no. In the Exorcist, the, oh. one of the little demons came out so fast and I was oh, not yeah. ready. I fell. Those to, are the best scares, though. Yes. Are, <laughs> I laugh hysterically when I get scared. Like, hysterically. It like, it makes fun. me laugh. Yeah. Okay. Definitely a good time. Would you rather be a ghost for a day or a witch? Ooh, ah! That's a hard one. That's such a good question because I feel like I already am a witch. Yeah? And then sometimes I feel like I already am a ghost. ghost. But oh. if you could choose one, what would it be? I guess ghosty. Yeah? If I sneak up behind you and go, 
yeah. as a ghost. And you well, see you a can, lot of things as a ghost. Yeah, but as a witch, you can kind of do that too. I think for me, it would be a witch. A witch, yeah. yeah. They got powers, they're still living, they're Hot. here. Ghosts, you can't even see them. Yeah. Only certain people can. No, maybe I don't want to be seen. <laughs> they're like invisible. Yeah. Okay. Would you rather sleep in the basement of a real haunted house alone for one night or sleep in the cemetery alone for one night? Oh. I don't want neither, child. That's just creepy as hell. Oh, I would do both. I would definitely do both, but probably I would feel maybe safer in the cemetery, which sounds weird, but it's more open. You're out in the yeah. open. In a basement, you're in a basement. You know, and then you're stuck in there. The cemetery, it's like, okay, little dead people, we're all chilling, yeah. taking a nap, everybody's sleeping. Mm. In the basement, they're like, we're wide awake, we're coming for you. I just feel like at a cemetery, you like, I don't know, see some shit. Like, you definitely see some shit. Oh no, I don't know if I want to see that. You know? I'd be so scared. Yeah, we had a lot of haunted places in Texas, and I would visit them often. You know what I've heard about that in yes. Texas? Is there, what part of Texas? Uh, I was in Fort Worth, but we went to this one. It's very popular. It's uh, called, uh, I think, Bates Motel. It's not Bates Motel. It's uh, Baker's Motel. Oh, Baker's Motel. And it's in Mineral Wells, and it's it, you have to climb into it. It's kind of an ordeal, but it was spooky for sure. Yeah, yeah it was a good time. <laughs> okay. I have another set. What was your favorite... Well, I don't even know if this is going to apply to you, but I'll ask anyway. What was your favorite Halloween costume as a kid and why? I still could dress up. Okay, you could dress, go, go trick-or-treating. Trick -treat. Okay, cool. Yeah, but my parents did dress me up as Bible characters very often. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but was that your favorite? No. <laughs> I did have this Esther costume, and the reason I liked it is because my mom put me in her slip and her jewelry, and her jewelry was gorgeous. Yeah. So I definitely loved this one costume. I have a picture of it, and I'm like, this was my favorite as a kid. And then one time I did this like angel, but it was like real, it was kind of like kind of hot for a kid. Like, yeah. I don't know. It wasn't like whatever, but I was just like, I felt really confident yeah, in it. it. Like so it. it was cute. Yeah. Like so funny. You know, one, when I was a kid, I dressed up as the orange M&M. Mm -hmm. And that's hot though. That's so You know cute. what? Thinking about it, it's really funny, but that was actually my favorite Halloween so costume cute. because I even dyed my hair orange. Oh. I, my mom let me wear orange lipstick, so I, I made it cute. Yeah. And it was it was cute. And I, I wore my hair it. like super slick down in the bun, but it was like orange. Gorgeous. It was real cute. Oh, I can see and that being a fun one. one. That was fun. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever played with the Ouija board? And did anything strange happen? Oh you know, God. I have to say, I have yet to play with a Ouija board. I'm kind of like, no. I, I don't have the cojones to do that. Yeah, I just know that if I did something, something would appear almost like immediately. Yeah. I just feel like my life has already been surrounded by yeah. some spooky stuff. So I'm like, if I did that, they would be like, yes, hello, we've been waiting for you. Oh, hell so, no. <laughs> that's a no. Let me know in the chat, have you guys ever played with the Ouija board? And what what happened if you did? Like, did something weird happen? Oh my God, hubby with the biddies, <laughs> with the thousand biddies. Thank you, hubby. Yes, he's making it rain on me. Aww, that's <laughs> cute. Okay, I love. In a okay, this is hilarious. In a candy trade war, what candy do you keep no matter what, and what candy do you get rid of? What candy do I keep no matter what, and what do I get rid of? Yes. Um. Reese's Pieces keep no matter what. Yes, love me some Reese's. Reese's Pieces keep forever. Get rid of Twizzlers. That's one of my favorites, yeah. but I could get rid of Twizzlers. I hate Twizzlers or licorice or any kind of... Same kind of rubbery feel as candy. Like, corn. I feel like anybody that can eat Twizzlers could buy tires. Yeah, I can. <laughs> oh, I definitely stop. can. <laughs> oh my god, no! Have you seen the movie Rubber? It's a movie about a um, telekinetic tire that Ooh. blows people up. No, I need to watch this. Yeah, Where can I watch this? I think it was on Netflix for a while. It might I be on Netflix. Netflix. But yeah, ah, Hulu. Rubber. Okay, I need to look that up. Yeah. Ooh, based on your personality, which fictional character, which fictional witch are mm. you? Ooh. Ooh, I like this okay, one. Okay, I, I really like... This. Um, if you've seen The Witch, I forget yes. her name, uh, and, um, what is her Not name? Not The Witches with the Kids, right? No. Okay, okay. No, no. the girl, the sister. Um, oh, I cannot remember her name, but Anya Taylor, uh, Anya Taylor Joy plays her. But I just really I liked her. her. I just yeah. can't remember her name. Um, but yeah, it was The Witch where it was an A24 film, and the parents have to leave their town for, I think, like, religious, they did something wrong. And so they got kicked out of their town and had to live by themselves. And the girl ends up getting drawn in by witches in the forest. And their kids go missing. Oh, wow. That's a good one. What are other witches' names, though? And then maybe I can... I can't 
can't think of her name. I know who you're talking about, though. That's how I was thinking right now. I'm like, I cannot it's think like, of it. Um, yeah, what's her name from okay, um, What did witch. Andy say? Uh, I want to know why Halloween candy bags be throwing in some trash. Oh, no, for real. Seriously. The good Elsa. Oh. oh. And I would have to say because my favorite American Horror Story season is season three. Oh, Coven. Coven is my favorite. I would Who have to say your favorite. And I would have to say Angela Bassett. Oh, she, she was a really powerful, powerful, powerful witch in that. Yes, she was. So amazing. I think my fictional character would be her. Yes. Yeah. I definitely liked all of the Coven Her fictional characters. witch. And Angela Bassett. She's is inspired incredible. everything. She's yeah. Amazing. That was a wonderful season. It's like my favorite. Are you watching the new season? Yes, and yes. you know, I, I gotta be honest, I can't get into it, but I'm watching it because I'm such a fan of the franchise, yes. so I'm still keeping up, and I I do love Kim Kardashian She's amazing. It. I think she's great, and I think, you know, people need to give her a break. She is doing But I think she's phenomenal. doing great yeah. um, on that. It definitely, I love her character on that. It is a little repetitive, but I really want to see what happens. So yeah. I'm like, okay, I, I am It hasn't the, hooked me yet, Yeah. but I am watching because I'm a huge fan. Yeah. I gotta be honest though, there was one season of American Horror Story that I skipped out on. Which one? And maybe you could tell me. I, I I just, I watched. I might have skipped it too. I watched one episode and I just couldn't get into it, but maybe I'll go back. But it's yeah. the uh, double feature one. Oh, with it the was like aliens, aliens and, and vampires. And, yes. Yeah. yeah. Was it vampires? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Or they, they were taking blood from people. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, like yeah. that season? I, um, did you watch I it? I did not. I did watch it. It took me a couple times to watch it to actually see what happened because yeah. I kept falling asleep. So that yeah, see, that. I can't get into it. But I do like aliens and I do like vampires. So me I'm too. always going to want my fix of that. And I got and it. And I even like the actor in it. I forgot his name. I think he's amazing in all the American Horror Stories. I forgot yeah. his name, but he's so good. But the yeah. father, I don't remember who it was at this point. I have yeah, to no. Watch. So maybe I'll go back and check it out. I just, yeah. I just can't get into favorite. it. It's not your favorite? It's not my favorite. Not yeah. my favorite. Um, but yeah, I still love the franchise no matter what. And I even Amazing. like the new one, the American Horror Story. I'm gonna watch the new episode yes. tonight. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's been out, huh? I gotta. I'm yeah. definitely gonna catch up on that tonight yeah. as well. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Okay, what villain or monster do you think is misunderstood? Ooh, that's a good one. Cause I think they're all messed up. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, for the most part, I guess Pearl. Which one? Pearl from the movie Pearl. Oh, oh it's, like, it's new. So they had the X movie came yeah. out with Kid Cudi, mm -hmm. and she played um, Pearl in it, and then she played Maxine, and I forget what. I think her. I've seen that one. It's good. Watch it. Definitely the one with Kid Cudi. X is phenomenal. Um, but then Pearl was like a prequel to it, like yeah. how everything started. Yeah. And she's very misunderstood. She's like a borderline princess, just crazy. Ooh, I think I need to watch so this. So I think she's the most recent one I can think of that's misunderstood. And the name of the movie is Pearl. Pearl. Okay, I need to check that out. But who else? There's a lot of misunderstood. I think mm. every woman in every horror story ever is always misunderstood, misunderstood. and being gaslit by somebody. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Well, I used to think that about the character in The Frighteners. I don't know if you guys remember that movie with Michael J. Fox, but there's a uh, a woman in there. Her her boyfriend is the villain. He's the one killing everybody. Yeah. But she's influenced by him. And in the beginning, she she's a little misunderstood, and I still feel like she is because she's just in love and does whatever her man <laughs> wants her to. Tells her to. Yeah. So I, I feel like she's the most she's misunderstood, misunderstood villain. Aww. But I then I have moments like, bitch, are you calculating? Right. Probably. I don't know. What's your sign? Oh, I don't know. I don't think they ever said they were signing. That's in the how movie. we'll find out. I, I actually no. watched it uh, last night. I yeah. love that movie. Yeah. The Frighteners. Has anybody I seen need The to Frighteners? Watch it. Is it's it a so vampire good. movie? Uh, no? no, it's a like a ghost movie. Okay, I'll watch like it. Like death and stuff. Nice. But it's on um it's on Tubi. Um, Tubi. Yeah. yeah, Tubi has it. Okay. What is your least favorite thing about Halloween? I people complaining about girls dressing slutty. Yes, I, I have it. to agree with that. <laughs> Hey, leave let it them alone. Live. Leave it alone. Let them live. There are plenty of people that dress not live. slutty. There are yeah. plenty of people that dress funny. Right. We it's, need a little bit of everything. Exactly. Need a little bit of everything. Yep. Because I dressed like a boy, a boy character for like five years of my life. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, now it's time for me to be hoochie. And I started dressing hoochie. It's like, it's yeah. the day to do it. That's, so. that's actually a really good one that you said. And I agree 1000%. Yeah. I think that's the least favorite thing. Like What's everybody, your least favorite thing? That, that, yeah, yeah one thousand percent. Because I love Halloween so much, so I would say yes. people complaining about girls dressing slutty. It's like, yeah. okay, it's once a year. If people want to be naked once a year, let them be. Get naked. Let them be. Yolo. We only love once. Okay? Exactly. All right. 
if your life was a scary movie, what would the title be? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that. Fuck. Fuck that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fuck this. I don't yeah. know. This, that, that's a hard one. That's a hard one for me. I can't. I, I will have to circle back on that. I can't. I don't know. Or fuck you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> It's like if your life was a scary movie. Yeah, all three. What of would those. it be? Yeah. Fuck this, fuck that, and fuck you. Let me know in the, the chat, guys. Movie. What will your What will your movie be? If your life was a scary movie. What will your movie title be? I want to know. Or how about this? Just stop. Right. <laughs> stop. Okay. Is there a movie that scares you to this day? Yeah, I think Hereditary. Every time I watch really? it, I get the willies. Yeah, that one's scary. For me, it's The Exorcist. The Exorcist the is scary. The original, the number one, the, the first one. Like, that one lets me have it to this day, honey. And then this one is going to make you laugh because it's not a scary movie, but it had scary movies within it, and yeah. I watched it when I was a kid, and it just stuck in my brain. It's The Burbs. Really? Yeah, it's with Tom Hanks. Oh. Tom Hanks, yeah. I watched it when I was younger, and I was is like, it oh. The Burbs? The Burbs. Like oh, The suburbs. Burbs. Yeah, okay, okay. like The Suburbs. I gotta watch that. I it's a comedy. That. When you said, I thought you said the birds, uh, the birds. Alfred Hitchcock. Which is scary. That one's pretty Very creepy. scary. Um, but yeah, no, the birds. Okay, I've never the seen birds. that one with Tom Hanks. But have you guys definitely. Seen the birds with Tom Hanks? Oh, RMG, see, I didn't see you in there. I have these these white contacts, so it's hard for me to see the chat. Yeah. <laughs> but hi, RMG, Hi. I don't know how long you've been in the chat, but sorry I missed you. Someone said, let's close, please. <laughs> BK <Halloween>. Joker. Oh, <laughs> Insidious. Insidious. I Cookie. love Insidious. It's creepy as hell. Yes. It doesn't scare me that much, but I do it's love creepy. it. It's creepy. Yep. It doesn't scare me, but it is creepy, and I love it. I've watched all of them. I actually haven't been able to watch too many scary movies because Matias is not a scary movie guy. Oh, He'll watch oh. it. You know but you know why he doesn't mm -hmm. like it? Because... He just it, he just finds it all ridiculous, and he'll find That's something true. wrong with it. Like oh, he's I such a same. production guy, he'll find something wrong with it every time. <laughs> but it, and it's hilarious. You don't want to watch a scary movie with Matias. He'll like ruin it for you. Like, uh, ah, did you see that? No, that was fake. So that's ah. fake. <laughs> like we know it's That's fake. not a real bloody arm. Yes. Okay. Um, ooh, have you ever seen or felt the presence of a ghost? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, yes. yes. Do you want to share that? Yeah. Okay. No, I've had multiple, actually, like, okay, so my family was hyper-religious, so I think maybe that has a lot to do with it. I was already, like, yeah. on high alert, but there were a couple times within a church that I would feel something behind me, and oh there was God. nothing there, and a then a church. few times at night, which this could have been, like, sleep paralysis. I've looked into it a lot now, but oh, okay. I would feel something, like a ghost, lay down next to me, and it was, like, real weird. Oh, wow. Yeah, but then I was like, I think it's um, sleep paralysis. Like, I'd wake up in the middle of the night, and I wouldn't be fully awake. Yeah. So you just kind of make up what could be happening, and yeah. usually it's like, oh. oh, something creepy. You know, so funny you said that. Okay, so when I was a kid, I definitely, I don't know, it's like, it was so crazy to see that I'm almost thinking, was it a dream? Yeah. To this day, I still think, was I dreaming? But it felt so real. I'm like, no, I was there, because I was playing soccer with my cousin. Yeah. And I remember the ball went behind the garage. So I went to go get the ball and there was a woman against the wall. And it looked like one of those like like ghosts like that you see in the movies, like where she was like like see through. But I'm like, was that real? Did I really see that? I don't know. It's like What do y'all think? No, I think I did see it. Yeah, I just I, I just can't it. believe it. I think it's just so shocking and I so surreal. I definitely think you saw it. And I'm like, oh my god, did I really see that? Yeah. And I've been I've never saw anything like that Same. again in my life. No, no, oh, never again, never again. So but spooky. That was weird, and and I I can't even tell you what exactly what she looks like. That's why oh. I know I'm like, okay, did I? Yeah. She had long hair. It was a white lady, and she was on the wall. It's like she had like a gown and it was flowing, and she was just she was singing. Kind of like a, uh, like oh one of those. Oh my god! When I tell you, like I, I don't know, like it was weird. Really I was, I was at least like what, eight, maybe eight years old, nine. Oh my god! Yeah, I was either third, fourth grade, something like that. But I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I was dreaming. But it that felt, would have scared me forever. Yeah, no, no, that was really creepy. Yeah. No, okay. I've never seen anything. Only felt. Yeah, like felt. Oh no, I, I, I seen, I seen something. Like, yeah, I, that stuff is real. I know some it. people are not really into that whole thing, but like. And I'm not into it either like that, but I think there's definitely a presence or like ghosts and stuff like yeah. that. I think there's spirits floating around. I think there's trap spirits. Trap spirits. That haven't been released yet or haven't gone to the other side. Yeah. Like, and energies too. I do believe people leave energies. Oh places. yeah, 1,000%. Yeah, 1,000%. Okay, so this is a fun one. 
you hear a noise in the attic. Do you go towards the sound or do you leave the house immediately? Ah, uh, usually I go towards. Anytime I've like heard a sound really? in my house, but I'll get a weapon. I, I just think that that's how I react. Okay, so you are that character in the movie that they I die. don't understand. Well, no, people and usually possibly dies because I never understood. Like, why would you run towards this? If Look. I think it's a ghost, I'll ignore it because I've actually been in big Girl, creepy houses. If I hear if one I little think, creak, I'm out the door. If I think it's a person, <laughs> I'm gonna go beat you up. Like, we're not doing this. If it's a ghost, I'll be like, okay, no, I, I don't want to fuck with that. Wait, no, but I commend you for going. You're bold. You're brave. You're bold. Because and very what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna like. Unless I have a clear exit. If I don't have a clear no. exit, no, I gotta run up on you. I'm gonna stab you. You're done. Can't do that this. is true though, because what if there is no clear exit? But yeah, you gotta just like scare them. You gotta be like, oh, oh, you know what no. I mean? Like, but going towards it, I, I don't know. Yeah, because every time in the movie, when I watch a scary movie and the person going towards where the action Stop. is, I'm like, why are you doing that? See, you deserve to die. Why'd you do that? I know. And a lot of times they do end up dying. I just don't like when they do it without a weapon. Like, why are you just creeping I know, over right? towards something and just like, oh, is and there always something? the female actresses. She's like, <laughs> What are you gonna do, shaky pants? Like, right. Just leave. <laughs> You're gonna die. That's You're gonna, gonna, gonna die. No, you have to be. You have to scare them. You have to run up on them and like, Boop. you know, what they say. <laughs> RMG said, "I'm coming with the holy water." Right. Baptized. Oh my God, sweet tea. Hi, babe. I haven't seen you in forever, girl. How are you? Happy early Halloween. That is hilarious. No, but seriously though, like I never understood why people go towards the noise. Mm -mm. Okay, so now we're going to actually hear a message from our sponsors before we go into the mood segment. Koozie Talk is brought to you by Always Together Management, your partner in every transaction. Safido Candle Company, where our candles are made with love. Arts District Cannabis in downtown L.A., when you go visit, use promo code Koozie Talk for 25% off. All right, so big shout out to Art District Cannabis. Yes, look Yay. at this. This is really nice. We got the Sad Squat Sap, Oreo OZ, a whole bunch of them. And then we have these liquid joints. These are actually Ooh. liquid shots that you can take and they're actually 30 milligrams and they also carry them in 100 milligrams. You got some pre-rolls. They laced your girl. Flowers. And then, ooh, and then we got more flowers. And what's really cool about these is that they have artists. These are actual artwork from artists and they even have their names and their, their background on the back of it. It's really cool. You got uh, Tahoe OG, you know I'm an indica smoker. And this is Tahoe OG and Wedding Cake, so it's like a hybrid, indica hybrid. And then we have Pure Kush. This is me all day, honey, yas. So this is awesome. Look at the art. So nice. And the weed leaves. Hope you guys can see that. Super cute. Shout out Arts District in downtown LA. Thank you so much for the treats. And thank you so much for my smoke sesh. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, thank right. you. So. Where are you going to go with? I feel like you can already guess. Yeah, I know. Horns. horns. I mean, it's only fitting. Obviously. Can I, should I, here, yeah, let's do this. Oh. Cute. We got to put it by your. On uh, them? Yeah, no, it's cute. This is perfect. Wardrobe, wardrobe change. Love it. There we go. Cute. Now we put match. Right We're there. twinning. Yeah. We're both demons. <laughs> er. All right. So. Let's give her some naughty questions. Mm -hmm. okay, all right. This is a funny one. What's the grossest thing that's ever happened to you during sex? The grossest? The grossest. Um, I actually haven't had any horrible, horrible moments. Uh, I did have somebody do something gross. I don't know if I want to say this, man. I should well, have We can skip the, the question. It's okay. No, I kinda, I'm going to try to figure out how to allude to this without it being super graphic. Okay, and then had, maybe I'll guess it, and if I say it, they can get mad, because I said it. Okay. <laughs> right. <laughs> Technically. And then you can just bleak. <laughs> right. Um, you can turn no, around and okay, bleak. okay, so you know when you're on that, you know, the time. Yes. It's the time. Yes, the time. I had somebody request to, to grab my time plug. Okay. Out. Okay. With the teeth. 
Oh, that's real, different. Real vampire style. Oh, and wow. I was not into it. And you said, like, hell no. Uh, no. <laughs> I you didn't. Let, I let it happen. You let it happen. Wow. It, okay. Yeah. And, 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 and never again. We'll just say that. That's over and done with. All right. Well, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can scratch that off the bucket list. Yeah. I don't think it was on your bucket list. But. No, it definitely <laughs> was not. And it won't be ever again. <laughs> Wait. Somebody said, oh, RGZ, not yanking the cord. <laughs> <laughs> Not the cord! Wait! <laughs> I'm dead! I'm dead at the cord. Oh my gosh. Okay. Woo! What's your biggest turn off? Turn off? Yeah, turn off. Oh, just okay. not consent, you know? Oh. Anything not consensual, like not, not asking me before trying something. A little too aggressive. Yeah, I mean, Forceful. aggressive is great when when I wanted. say let's go, when it's but if wanted, I haven't yeah. said let's go, it's no. Um, but turn off, yeah, I guess not confident or I don't know. Yeah, but I think consent would be the biggest way. Like and trying it, anything without asking. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. And what's your turn on? Ooh. You know, just like you know, a little smackety smacky. No. <laughs> a little build up. Oh, we have a first timer in the chat. Uh, pretty and protected. Hi, babe, EJ. How are you, babe? Okay. What's the most unusual place you've made love? See, this is what I'm talking about, where I'm like, am I a prude? Like, okay. Un it's okay if you haven't. Unusual. You can say, you know what? All my places have been normal. No, I guess I... I can't think of unusual. I, I I feel like it's all like pretty typical out in public. I've had an unusual one. I've definitely like well, okay. So what's unusual to you then? Let's see. What my the... my unusual one was when I worked at an old folks home, a convalescent home. I did it there on the clock with another employee in the bathroom of one of the patients' little convalescent room. Senior citizen villa. Not proud of it, but hey. I think you should be. <laughs> you said I'm I mean, gonna have a, a good time unusual here. unusual place. Listen, we're sitting around this chilling a long all day. Time ago. So I'm gonna have some fun while I'm here. That's fun. I definitely have done on the job, but not in the old folks' home. Yeah, yeah. the old folks' home. That's <laughs> yeah, that's different. <laughs> For sure, that's funny as hell. And it was during our lunch break. Yeah. You said let's get you about five minutes. I guess more than hungry. <laughs> Hungry for something Hungry else. For something else. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Oh That's my amazing. god. What's the first dirtiest thing you would do if you woke up as the opposite sex? Ooh, oh I love this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think she would. I would definitely do the little windmill. A what? The windmill. The windmill? You know, with I your pepe. Yeah, with my pepe. You would just do the snail. Okay. I've seen the snail. All right. Um, you know, I love that answer because everybody says like the typical thing, like, "Oh, go fuck your girl, go get some head." Oh yeah. But you're no, like, no. Do a windmill. <laughs> Woo! That's yeah. different. You gotta do the whole dance. Cause, Cause you know, like, I would like, be like, like a naked windmill, or would you wear like oh. the elephant trunks? Ooh, that'd be fun. You have to give it a little costume. <laughs> Say, do a photo shoot. It's Halloween. Dress it up. Why not? I would get really creative with it. Dip it in peanut butter. That is hilarious. You just try all kinds okay. of things. Okay. When was the last time you faked an orgasm? Been a while. That's um, a good thing. Yeah, been a while. Okay, because I, well, I'm with my bae now, and we don't gotta do that. Uh, but before that, I was celibate for two years, so I actually, well, celibate I mean, I guess I made myself, years. so I can't say I waited, but by somebody else, probably like three years ago. Mm. And I was like, never again. This. And then I said, you know what? I'm not even fucking with y'all if you can't do this right. Right. And then, boom. Cause it's like you could show somebody, but it's like that's kind of lame. It's yeah. like I gotta show you, like you should just know already. Yeah, definitely. But I've definitely faked it before. I have to say, the girls who say they've never faked it, I love you. Power to you. That's incredible. That's some bad bitch shit. Yeah, I think some of them lie. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but if you're not lying, then get to it. I love it. I love asking this question. I love asking all my guests this question because I always want to know what their answer would be. If you had to spend a week on a deserted island with a celebrity, okay, who would it be and why? 
Angelina Jolie and because we would fucking survive for sure. Yes. I just know we'd survive. That bitch has seen some shit, done some shit. Yes. She's gorgeous. She's got a lot to talk about. I love Angelina Jolie. Oh my gosh. I, I like that answer. I would, I would hang out with her. And I think she's funnier than she lets on. So I feel and like And you guys would... you guys would be compatible because she's an air sign too. You're a Libra, she's a Gemini. Is she oh she my is. God, it would I work. It. I think it would work. Very cute. Would you ever have a menage a trois? Oh. I definitely have. Oh, I've you had, have? Yes. So I then you would? Have. Yeah. Yes, I would. Uh, at this point, actually, no, because I am selfish. And that's all I can say. Because I'm selfish. When I was in a menage a trois, it was actually always the other couple. Like, they were together, and yeah. I would not want to, like, overstep. Yeah. And I would So feel, you're the girl that prefers to just join a couple versus you be the couple that... I definitely them. would not want to be the couple. Yeah, okay. yeah a, lot does, of, a lot okay. of girls do say that that are down for it. They'd rather just be, like, the invite. Yeah. But even with invite, I get... I, I get tired. I'm like, this is a lot of work. And I don't uh, like it. So you think the invite has a, has to do more work? Because they're there to please the couple. Well, they try to please. They try. They'll probably do too much, and then I get really in my like. I overthink, and yeah. if I if I feel like they're paying too much attention to me, I'm like, yeah. oh, I don't want somebody else to feel like they're not getting enough attention. So yeah. I just felt like it was mental work for me. Yeah. But then I had one that was really fun, but I don't think I would do it again with the same people. The swans love you. They do. Oh my god. The swans. the swans keep coming to her like, ooh, who is this precious clown? Look at the swan. <laughs> this precious clown. <laughs> it's a uh, Oh, thank you, pretty and protected. She said decor on point. Yes. Shout out Hub. I love decor. the decor. This is wonderful. Yeah. Shout out to production. Wow. Okay. So, next question. Do you like your partner to be silent or loud? Ooh, no, I like a little noise. Maybe not loud, like, ah, but a little something. But yeah, okay, well, it also depends on what sex, I suppose, maybe. Yeah. With guys, I'm like, not too much. You can you can give me some little grunts, some little like, oh, fuck, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, but not louder than you. Yeah, no, ah. that's my, that's, my, that's me. Let me get a little No, crazy. I feel you. You know what I mean? I feel you, um, girl. But with girls, uh, do what you want. Okay, Sherry Steamy Fantasy never admitted to anyone koozie talk exclusive steamy fish she said they're not gonna be that dirty <laughs> she said the questions won't be that bad don't be that bad i think these are rated r they're not these are legs. rated eggs are they <laughs> no 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 this is chill. okay the steamiest thing um i mean it could be something like oh I'll definitely like in i guess like in front of people Wait, what? Like in front of people. Oh, yeah. I've never heard that one. That's actually that's a good one. Yeah, I don't think I would ever. I mean, I can't say whether I would or not do it because I feel like in the moment with the right person, yeah, it's whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I wouldn't want to be joined in with a bunch of people because I don't like that many people touching me. Right, of course. But I definitely, I think it's fun the yeah. idea of a little crowd. Okay. Yeah. It does sound a little fun. You know, it, it sounds does. terrifying. Like I know it does. I wake Especially up and like, you're shy. Oh yeah, which I am, that's very shy. Same. Thing. But that's why it's a fantasy. It's like the concept right. of it. But right. I'm like, right. are we gonna do it? Right. Who knows? I like it. I like it. Okay. So let's see. What's the biggest age difference that I've done? Uh, Not necessarily sexually. Like, it could be just dating. It doesn't have to be sexual. Dating. I did go on a date with somebody. I got set up. Actually, when I was young, so this was kind of weird, to oh. be really real. I was like 18 or 19, and I got set up with somebody who was 36. Well, at least you were of age. Yeah, I was of age, which was fine. But I had braces, and I already look young, so it was yeah. kind of like, I think we look a little too different. Right, right. Yeah, he was very nice, but I was just like, that's not it. But I definitely dated somebody in their 40s. Oh, wow. Um, it was cute. But I think at the end of the day, we didn't have anything to talk about, really. Like, I am I can talk, you so know. So you're not really a person that goes younger or older. You're more, like, kind of almost like by my, my age, age group. I love my age. Age group. Yes. Okay, same age group. Definitely. Okay, that makes sense. I've always dated older. Yeah? I've always dated older. Not that much older. Nothing past 10 years. Yeah. Matias is 8 years older than me. Um, but I think that's the highest, the biggest age difference yeah. was Matias. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, yeah. Which is not bad. 8 no, years is not bad. My parents so were 7 years apart. My so parents were cool. 10. Okay, that's good. I think yes. 10 is a good a good. My mom up. was 10 years older than my dad. Yeah. That's not, well, that's not bad. 10 no, years is cute. not bad. I liked it. Once you start getting in the 15 years and the 20 and the 30s. It gets a little weird. It gets a little, a little <laughs> interesting. Yeah. A little weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, we're going to go. 
<laughs> she like her brows today. That's funny. Okay. So, Sherry Sensual Experience. They took you by surprise. Ooh. A, I like that one. That's a cute one. A sensual experience. Okay. I feel like a recent one, I suppose. Yeah. It didn't take me by surprise. Okay. But it's the closest thing to it? Yes. Okay. Here's the thing. I have always wanted to trip and connect with somebody. Like, how's okay. that? Yeah. But every time I trip with somebody in the past, yeah. either they were not on that time and they just wanted to like go and look at colors in the corner, which is totally fine, or I wasn't on that time and it just wasn't working. But then recently, I took shrooms with babe, and it was like exactly what I had always thought that should be, if that oh. makes sense. Like when you when you take a little mushroom yeah. and you just connect, you got the right music on, the colors in the room, and I was just yeah. like... Were you in nature? No, I was actually, we were in his room, but he oh, had the vibe, cool. it was really fun, and we had a Kid Cudi's movie, Intergalactic. Um, is it good? It's so good. Oh, I need to watch it. I did. I heard about it, and yeah. I, I I see it on there. Which I have, is funny. The I first time it. I saw it, yeah. I was like, okay, yeah, that was fun. It wasn't I, my by favorite. By the way, I love Kit Cudi as an actor. Yes, he's amazing. Wonderful. He's, he's wonderful. so good. I already love him as an artist, but yes, he's ooh, really I love taking him up. as an actor. Yeah, For I can sure. see him really doing like big shit. Big shit and directing big shit too. Mm -hmm. So that'll be fun. But definitely, yeah. When I first watched it, I was like, oh, that was cool, but it wasn't like. It didn't really hit me, hit me, but when you do it on mushrooms and you're listening to the music... It's probably a whole different vibe. It was a vibe. It was yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Trippy. I love that. And then, I'm not going to lie, I have to be totally honest, I might have shed a little tear, and that surprised But you know what? I just, no, but you know what? I was on shrooms, so I was like Yes, I was going to say that some people that take shrooms, they, I've heard that they, you know, oh, yeah, we cry. get your emotions. And I'm a crybaby, Because it gets so. you thinking a lot. Have you ever cried? Things. Yeah. Have you ever cried during sex, either from it, it being so good or... I've never cried, no. Never cried. But you, I think it's beautiful that people do, but I... Not like ugly cry, not like... Uh, no, like a, like a, like a like, little tear, like a pretty cry, like yeah. a, little, a little tear came out, yeah. yeah. No, I've never had that. I've never had that. I don't think I... <laughs> <laughs> He's only <cracking> up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't like enough. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, know. No, I've never cried. You know, but um, you no, because it was funny. Because the next day he goes, "Did you? Were you? Did you cry yesterday?" And I said, "Don't ask me about it." Like, you know what? Up. I know people that you know, like <laughs> it's like the kind of cry is more like, oh, like I think it's like, oh, this is so good, yeah, or like maybe great. it's like a connection. People like, yes. like stare in each other's eyes. Yeah, and I don't do that either. Yeah. You know, like the whole like staring in the eyes, like for the whole time. I don't time. usually do it. Yeah, you know. I don't like people looking at me. Even like, when I'm talking to people regular, I mean, yeah. I mean, I look in your eyes, but after a while, I'm like, like, okay, stop. <laughs> right? so it gets a little weird. Be weird. <laughs> I don't know. For me, I don't know. I can't yeah. look. I can't look too long. I don't know. Because then I'll start laughing. And I got an ugly. I know. I'm definitely. Yeah, not just laugh. Have you giggled during sex? I've laughed during sex. <laughs> you don't want me to laugh during sex. <laughs> <laughs> not with this fucked up laugh. <laughs> Because <laughs> if I laugh during, like, my shit fucked up. You gonna be like, bitch, fuck you. Like, right no, away. Like, why I you definitely gotta fuck you, but I was so drunk, I started laughing. He was like, what the fuck is going Imagine shit? having sex with me, you hear my laugh. You be pissed <laughs> off. Like, bitch, get the fuck out the house. Well, I would end it. <laughs> that was so goddamn funny, bitch. <laughs> I'd be like, damn, I fucked up. I'd be like, what? Get out. I'm done. No, the dick would be like, play out. Play out. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to my laugh. Okay. I love it. No, that's so that's funny. funny. Okay, so now we're going to go to the next segment, which Ooh. is my absolute favorite. But before we do, we got to hit you with the disclaimer. Okay? So, yeah. Will of Fame disclaimer. Koozie Talk guests are asked to spin the wheel featuring various notable public figures and choose one from the option that has to go, as in their careers never existed. Please note, that the statements and choices made by our guests during this segment are their own personal opinions and preferences and do not reflect the views or opinions of the Koozie Talk podcast, its hosts, producers, or affiliates. The Koozie Talk podcast does not endorse or promote any negative sentiments or intentions towards any of the entities mentioned during the game. This segment is intended for entertainment purposes only and is meant to be a light-hearted and fun activity for our guests and listeners. Thank you for watching and enjoying the Koozie Talk podcast responsibly. All right, so now let's go to the Will of Fame. Yay! Or since it's Halloween edition, we're going to call it the Will of Scare. So this will is actually different, guys. We have all, like, 
you know, scary villains on there. We have the classic horror movies. So my beautiful guest, Doug Muffin, is actually gonna spin the wheel and one has to go. You guys read the disclaimer, one never existed. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Yeah, the pumpkin. The pumpkin's in the way. <laughs> oh, you got it. No, I want to. I want to give it. She wants. Okay, go. Go to this corner. There's yeah. actually a little seat right there. Perfect. There we go. Right. Been right. Yeah. There we go. Yes. Ooh. Ow. This is a hard one. Oh. So she got. She got. <laughs> the Adams family. Okay. Casper and Halloween Town. Oh. Childhood classics. One has to go. What's it going to be? I'm going to have to say Casper. And I love Casper, but I have to say Casper. Casper has to go. Adam's Family cannot go. Halloween Town absolutely cannot go. Yeah, those are just two. I mean, they're all classics, but I think I'm going to have to agree with you on that one. Yeah. Yeah, I could I could live with Casper not existing, even though I love him. He's so cute. He's so cute. Bless his heart. But. And we have little Drew Barrymore in there, too. Is yeah, that Drew Barrymore? That, uh, no, that no, was Christina, Christina Ritchie. Ritchie. That's, That's right. Christina it's Ritchie. another Christina Ritchie. Yes. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, let's spin it again. Yay. Okay, I'm ready. That was a good one. Let's spin it hard. I'm seeing these, I'm like kind of scared because I like a lot of these. I know, but they're so good. Okay, uh, you landed on, I know what you did. Oh, ah! so she got, this is hilarious. I know what you did last summer. Scream. And Blair Witch. the Blair Witch Project. One has to go. One never existed. Uh, okay, not Scream. Obviously, we would never get rid of Scream. That is one of the I mean, best. It's a classic. It's a classic. Um, it's really between. A, I think it's gonna have to be. I know what you did last summer. I could get rid of that one. I I agree. Yeah. I agree. I think I, I like Blair Witch Project. I love Blair Witch Project. I mm. love it. Did they ever show the damn witch? No, they didn't. Right? Uh, no, no. They showed like. It was like corners and shit like that. I just remember there was a lot of screaming in that movie, but I, I like found footage. Yeah. It was creepy because it was like POV. Yep. It was like very, yeah, that's what made it like intense. Yeah. That is a good one. Okay, let's spin it again. This is fun. Ooh, I hurt right now. No, let me do it one more time. Ooh, that's a good one though. Oh, is it? It is. Oh, Christine. Yeah. The one where she, on TV? The car. Oh, the car. The oh, no, car. I haven't seen that. Yeah, okay, so, so if you haven't seen it, you spin it again. Yeah, let me spin it again. But well, that is a good time. So let me watch the one with the car. I'll yeah. put that on my list. Oh, yeah. Christine was creepy. Oh, this is a good <laughs> one. All right, one has to go. Oh, and you all are going to be surprised at which one <laughs> it is. Leprechaun, It, or Chucky. One has to go. Which one do you think I would, I would get rid of? Shit. I think you'll be surprised. I think you would get rid of Leprechaun. No. Really? You I like Leprechaun? Love Leprechaun? I love Leprechaun too. Who would you get rid of? It? Chucky. Chucky. Chucky 100%. got hundred percent. Chucky's hilarious. I love Chucky. I like the look of him. Yes, Chucky. Okay. But the movie is not my favorite. Okay, well, as a kid, it scared the living crap out of me. I, clowns still freak me out. So for me it would be <laughs> it. It gotta go. It was too much for me, honey. He was too crazy uh, and he eat, and he eats kids. Anybody got time? Eat kids. Yes. No. He gotta go. Chucky, you know, you know, he'll, I he'll, love Pennywise. Yeah, he'll I, stab you, but he at least he'll tell you a joke right before. He he's real funny. funny. He has a great sense of humor. But so is the leprechaun. <laughs> leprechaun. The leprechaun is hilarious. Is and he's very confident. Very confident. He really is. For a little guy. But yeah, no, it, it's it for me. It gotta go. Uh, it gotta go. Yeah. Alright, for shits and giggles, let's spin it one more time yes. before we go to our next segment. Because this, this is just too fun. I love all these movies. I'm so happy she oh, got this good, one. Good, good. I know exactly so one has right to go. Yeah. Michael Myers, Freddy Krueger, or Jason. All right, this one's super easy. Jason's daddy, so that's he's not going nowhere. Okay. Michael Myers is a little also daddy, so we're gonna have to get rid of Freddy Krueger. He also is weird with little kids, so we don't fuck with that. Yeah. I do like the movies. Yeah, Freddy Krueger gotta go because you fucking with my sleep, and I like yeah, to sleep, honey. It's like, like what sleep. the hell? Like I wanna, I wanna, I don't even wanna dream. I just want to be sleep. And my, I smoke yeah. weed. I smoke indica. Good Ain't nobody got time for you to be torturing me in my dreams, Absolutely Freddy. Absolutely not. Freddy can go. And your skin, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy can go. <laughs> Off with his head. He's All right. cool though. I still like, I like the Freddy costume. I like the claws. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, you fucking with my sleep, right? right. No, hell you no. can go. You can die. Bye bye. Bye bye. Because I want to sleep, honey. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so before we go to the next segment, do you want to act out or do you want to tell two truths and a lie? I'll act out. We'll see if I can Yes, because I never get people that wants to do act out. People are scared of act out. 
I'm scared, I'm scared of, of it because I'm scared I won't guess it right. Oh, okay, okay. But I probably might not act it out right. But we're no, 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 no. You're a great actress. Which, by the way, she's an actress and she's on the show Mayans oh. on FX. So if you watch that show, you've definitely seen her on it. Yay. Yes. Hell okay. yeah. Thank so you. let's go to act out. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, cute. I love Super it. Super cute. All right. You ready? Yes. All right. And action. Oh, what am I? I have to. I have to pick something. Yeah. Okay. Like okay. you gotta add, impersonate something okay. or an actor or scene, I and know. then I gotta guess it, and I hope I I'm able to get it. I am a little high. I, and out, I, drink, I don't so, know. Um, bear with me, folks. I'm gonna try this. Let's see if I can get it. I think I can. <laughs> okay. Wait. Oh, you're doing it now? Yeah. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hold oh, on. I wait. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was. Ready, I didn't know guys. you were starting. Hold I on. Had the whole scene. Okay. In action. Okay. All right. <laughs> Got this part. Okay. No words? Okay, is it, wait, is it Snow White? Is it the Maleficent? Is it the, 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 the Snow White? Is yeah. it Seven Dwarfs? Yes. Yay, I got That's it! Good. Oh, I have That's to actually how you say know. something. I'll act out next no, time. No, 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 but I love that I got it without you saying nothing, because yes. there's been people that, that like fully went all out and my ass didn't get it, honey. Oh my God. <laughs> they did the whole scene, the whole lines, and I still didn't get it. I was <laughs> like, wait, wait. I have wait. no idea. One girl did um Norbit, and I was like, what is that? The curl of purple? The rest of the color of purple? I was like, what is that? Raisin in the oh, sun? Wait, okay. Wait, is my black card revoked? Wait, what, what, what was that? It was Norbit, girl. I haven't seen Norbit in uh, so long. Yeah, so, I know. No, but I'm it. happy I got it. You didn't Yay, say nothing. That yes. was easy. That was an easy one. I got it, y'all. But I also love Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Yeah. This is why I chose her to do the Halloween episode because we spooky here. Spooky time. We here with spooky time. We here with spooky yeah. time. That was really fun. So we're actually going to get out of here. Uh -huh. We are. But I want to thank you guys so much for joining us for the Halloween episode. I had such a good time with you. I had you. a great time. This thank you for fun. coming on. Thank I love you for so having much. me. Oh my gosh. Yes, yeah, so Cozy Talk. And I'll see you guys next week, November 2nd, Thursday, same time, same place. Bye. Let's open hearts. Hearts. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning in. in. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. We'd love to hear your thoughts, so leave us a comment below. And to ensure you never miss out on our latest episodes, click that subscribe button now. See you next time on Koozie Talk. Bye.